Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Ben Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera, and we are on air. We got Nate in the house. He's going on to the front brakes. But what I'm going to do today, I got this exhaust pipe welded in there. I made up my mind. I welded it in there, got it ground off, got the back all grounded off. Started playing with the metal a little bit in there, a little bit more, trying to just play with it a little bit. Like I said, the car is subject to a hammer right till the very end. So, you know, if you see something, like, it's okay because, in the honesty, because it's going to be tapped at and beat at at the very end. But I've got this last little piece going on here. This is the door. This is where I weld together. I didn't mind putting a bunch of weld on it because I wanted to feather it off nice. And I wanted enough weld there to make myself happy that it reduces on the filler part, obviously. Now I've got this little piece to go in here. You can see I've got... The, the exhaust pipe up here, this is the piece of the car, I just welded around there. I still got this open, still got that open. Uh, I've got, you can see the edge of the door on this side. Uh, the edge of the door on this side is covered up. There's a little bit of welding that has to be done there, but that's the door. So now I just need to cut fit that piece put in there. What I'm going to do is we're going to bend a piece, put it in there. Well, maybe we'll cut something to fit that window. Let's just go to work. Let's do that. Let's get that piece made. I have a piece of metal down here just waiting for some cleaning action. I'm just going to clean it before I put it on, just make it easier on me. Uh, hammer. Have to forgive me, I'm sorry. I was outside with, I mean, dug outside playing with the building, trying to get that thing, uh, you know, tight and right for the winter time. And then build a car at the same time. All right. What's that, Nate? Sometimes you just got to go to work. If you want anything out of life, that's the only way you'll get anything is go to work. That's the way you only get anything is... And, and I'll tell you, sometimes just sitting down relaxing, sometimes life goes better when you're working. I don't think it matters where I bend it. And the reason being is I'm going to cut it out of this piece of metal that I got put in the door. Just going to shove it in there and hope it goes, you know, somewhere right, I guess. See, I got a little bit, you know, it's not bad, actually. Let's go stick it on the car, see what happens. Sometimes you have to work a little extra. You got that right. Just put it on there like that. I'm just going to make it bigger than it has to be. I think I am. Let's just cut that off, and then I, I might know I'm looking at it that way. We'll cut this bad boy off. Bum, 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 bum. The cut is probably in the building because we were cutting. Ah! Zip cuts in the building. We're cutting spikes off. That's where it's at. You haven't got a zip cut, do you? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, there it is. Look at that now, would you? Got a brand new thing on it, everybody. Cord waiting for me and everything. The good Lord's with me. Keep working, Chad. Keep working. Huh? Keep working. Didn't cut the line because I wasn't sure about everything, so that's why I didn't cut it. I might as well be somewhat sure. Fits good there. And that's my line. See right there is my where I want to end. Yeah, we're gonna go down to about see our line right here. Fits pretty good like that. Here somewhere. Hmm. That's lots. Let's do it so it fits. Let's do it so it fits. I'll put that right there. 
right there. I'm gonna guess. We also have the grind group there. We're working with wood. <laughs> Same tools. Put that on top. Trying to match it up, make it look the best we can. It's not bad. Yeah. I had my brother helping me on my shop there doing stuff. Yeah. And then uh, I even had to get my grind group to cut some stuff in my shop, and I was kind of laughing. He said, You're the only other one I've seen with the grinder. I said, No, no. <laughs> no, no. No, no. I know a guy down the road does the same thing. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that on there. It needs to be stood up a little bit there because to get that shape. What I'll do is I'll weld that shape first. I'll may tack it down along the bottom, and then I'll pound this shape down over. Seems like a reasonable thing to do. Let's cut it off so it's right. So my line that I had with the right first time was right. Just wanted to make sure. little piece going now we just have to figure out how or how we want to go about it see this is gonna have to have get it this is the factory gap nothing has moved in this car whatsoever we still got the right gap going on the front inside that's the way it was before but this is a piece made over laid over top we'll get it tacked on and then we'll go from there we'll cut it and make it you know what we want it to be as we go along sometimes it's easier to knock it onto the car and then make it do what you want after. Just like I made these panels here. Not that I couldn't have, <laughs> I can go back to that because there's so many people wound up. Not that I couldn't have went over to the English wheel and done that, but it's hard to make a video of me wheeling on something for a couple hours and, and wondering if I'm getting anywhere. And that's the truth of the matter. Um, that's what would happen if I went to the English wheel. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, and I do not feel it was necessary. Didn't feel it was necessary. Obviously. Now, let's stand that up a little bit. As you can see, it's got a sharper bend on it. And, hey, a little thinner. Trying to hole through it, didn't I? Basically, putting metal back in the car where it was before. Before I decided to. So that, that tells me is when I weld pieces on, I should plunk on a little bit of metal first, like lay a little bit of a little metal and then weld it. Good. Now we're stood up in the air exactly where we want to be. Feels pretty good right there. All right, let's get our hammer. Just tap that over slowly. Car is holding it. If you had to tap it over there, you put it in the vise anyways. Hold it, tap it. I just like using the car. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zip that. Might not be tight enough, or. Overlaying there, I think. I want to what? This side. I'm just gonna weld it now. So it stays together.
this well together here so it stays together. Get some air. Cool it off. Probably could be, you know, I, I like getting air on things because I don't want to get two things too hot. push that down because I want to. I think that's where it needs to be. It's down. that in. Broke off, didn't it? Bring this over. Sometimes the smallest piece Yeah, can be the hardest piece. <laughs> Got it caught in there, shouldn't have put on that angle, I guess. for I'm ready Looks good Let's get a helmet and some air going and then we'll get it welded on and then we'll go from there we'll grind it up make it look nice Helmet inside the car Well, that was an explosion, wasn't it, baby? Huh? Baby? Mm hmm. All righty, let's get the air right there. I'm going to put, I like doing four at a time. Get the air on that. be able to touch that. And I can. And I did. Now I'm just going to go. When I run this, when I do this weld, I should run it straight or see how I get it. It would look nicer straighter. I'm going to straighten that out. It's bothering me. I'm going to come this way on it, bring it over some, and change this, if it'll come off. Beautiful. And it did. Shut this off for a second. We'll get a new zip cut. Just want to run that straight. It's not looking the best to me there. Can you tell them what you're doing, Nathan? Um, I geared up a bit of a jig. I'm using a screwdriver and a drill bit to line up the 
36 Hudson brake shoe onto the Ford Ranger brake shoe. Then I got the same hole here and hole here. So I'm lining them up the same there. And then uh, set it up here where it's going to be. And there's the two holes. I got to re drill this hole and this hole into the new shoe. So I scrap the markers. Them two holes there is all I got to drill. One's for a uh, lock spring, and the other one's for the nail pin. And then uh, it looks perfect in the end of this other than that. So just more or less gear up a little jig with the screw. It made it a little quicker to do than the way I did yesterday. You learned from yesterday, then, what you're yep. saying. Yep. That's what I'm doing today. Yep. I'm going to learn from this one. I'm going to take it to the other side. I'm not going to jam the grinder in like I did last time. See that? It happens. <laughs> it happens all the time. Oh. Not playing it very smart, honey. I think it's from going from wood to... I'm not going to blame it on anything other than... <laughs> <laughs> I know, Doug was doing all the pounding. That was where, there it is. I didn't want to scratch that off like that, but it don't matter. It would have to be scratched up or sanded or to apply filler. You can see how I am welding this up. How I'm welding this up. And I am welding it up, I'm welding on this part, I'm welding on the exhaust pipe, then I'm running over and just touching on the, on the, on the metal part. And the reason being, I want, I want the metal on the exhaust pipe, the welding exhaust pipe, so when I grind it off, I can get it off flush and, and, and fill it in nice. Um, that's what I'm doing, or trying to do. No, that's what I'm doing. touch it yeah it's cooled off we're getting it cooled off really quick which is good don't like it coming to the point sometimes and it causes a hassle causes a stress but generally I guess we can get away with it put another one on here in the middle Just one start to finish where it's a little bit smaller. Nathan's using the drill press. Oh, 
want to put a little metal right here. Get burnt. Got a little burnt through right there at the point. There's a little point going on there. Burnt through there. When I come back, I'll put a coat hanger in that and it'll be good. Basically, you want no holes. You want no holes, no pinholes in your well is basically what you want, so that's why we're overlapping all of them. I explained that many times, but that's good to always explain things. Stuff can take hours, the little tiny stuff, figure this stuff out and get it done and get it dealt with. I guess the quicker you get along with it, you get along on it, the quicker it'll be done. Good. Ah. I'm gonna get some air on that for heat gets away on me. Want to put a little more well for grinding purposes. Not because it needed it. Well, I needed it, I guess, except for grinding purposes. took me to weld, ouch, that's nice and sharp, see that? And how long it took me to weld that patch in there. But I'm able to rest my hand on it. That tells you something, that, you know, I don't know, 20 minutes to weld that in there probably, well, in 20 minutes, I'm, I'm, I'm good to go, I'm good to grind it, it's not too hot, haven't warped anything, used some air to, to uh, cool it down. Let's, let's grind it off a little bit. <laughs> like I said, every time I read the comments, there's always good ones at the top. When I'm using the washroom and I'm taking a dump, that's when I read them, because that's when I know I'm going to get them. <laughs> but he said, uh, there's nothing unnormal that what you're doing. Well, if you've taken and cut your trunk lid off your car and replaced it on top of your car, I guess you call that not normal. But if you've never cut the trunk out of your car, and, and placed it on the top and made the back, well then, basically, you, you, you don't know nothing. <laughs> basically, you can pretend you do, but you don't. I'm gonna get a big sookie bottle, and I'm gonna give it to the biggest crybabies, and I can't wait to announce the names. <laughs> mm. Let's grind this off and make it look like something. I'm gonna go this way for you. I feel like I can grind the uh, weld down to the exhaust pipe because the exhaust pipe is probably pretty close to an eight.
On the metal side, I feel like I'm arrived to rub it flush off, sand it flush flat, not dig at it, but flush it off. I'm, I'm allowed to do that because we're butt welded on and I'm at the same plane to it. I like to keep the grinder right on the center, on the right on the edge on that metal so I can grind it off like that and not take away from this part or this part if I can. Didn't, didn't care on the exhaust pipe because the exhaust pipe's got a lot of meat. I shave the side of the car. I like that. This has got to be welded shut though on this on this part. Let's finish that up. This part of the exhaust pipe, this part coming through. We got this piece going around here that has to be welded up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and turn on the old welder. I'll throw on a coat hanger. Do this. I only use it where I need it. I want to put a double weld up here for grinding purposes. Just for grinding purposes. Just gonna weld on the exhaust pipe and build it up until it hits the metal. Close the door and see if that isn't any more appealing. You can see that I have somewhat of a line going there. I'm going to have to grind that and make that look right. Let's take a grind in a second. Let's put that aside for a minute.
And we got a little bit of welding and grind in there. Come take a look. Yeah, I got a little bit missing right there, a little bit missing there. A little bit, I can just put a little bit of weld over top of that, put a little more weld in that, clean that up. Basically, to be honest with you, I'd leave that alone, maybe clean up a little bit. It's a room for place for filler and that sort of stuff. We got a gap going around here, which is good. Now, um, this come look at this here. If you want, I got a weld up in there, up inside that door. I got to weld this piece here. Let's weld that and get that done. Now we got our air. We don't want anything to take off and get too crazy. We'll put some. That's the stuff right, right there that the person don't get to see. That has to happen. And you might even do a cross here again. Gives it a little thickness. That part there is a coat hanger. That'd be ground in there with a die grinder. In there, be ground with a die grinder so you can get in there, you know, a little pointy thing. Do this part. Let's cool it off for a second. Finish it off with the welder. Should be able to. Yeah, I'm just going to knock that off for a second. truck and then we got the uh, Ford uh, Thunderbird Flexor. That's uh, bolts in the same factory place and gonna work it. I got uh, all the brake lines run from the master cylinder to the brake light switch all back to the rear end and tie it back to the frame and stuff today. All the new lines on the rear end has and, and uh, some of the usual holders and stuff that's all done and plumbed to the back now. Got it like that! So we're just waiting on we only had one of the front uh, wheel cylinders in two days, they're going to have the next one. So then we'll have everything for to finish it up for next week. To be key to the thing. Here's scissors. Just need that. Piece of the end, cap that off. We 
wish it was easy to cut that metal that easy, but it's not. I use 18 gauge, basically all I use. And the reason being is, I like how thick it is in case I hit it with a grinder. The other stuff, you get playing around, not uh, paying attention, and uh, you grind too much off. And it becomes, becomes a, 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 chin, a chintzy little piece. <laughs> what it becomes you use thin metal and start welding on it, it becomes pretty chintzy pretty quick ah, come on I'm gonna hit me in the head one baby huh call it chintzy bang this with a hammer I had the hammer one time up there banging around. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it on, probably stick it on, and then I'll then then I'll set, sand it round after. Um, so do that a lot. Just put it on the car, use the car as the the buck, and then sand it off after. That in there. It's got to go inside that. And the reason it's got to go inside that is because it's got to step out on the door. And uh, that's where it was. That fit best. Is in. Now we'll sand that bottom off. to have room. I'm going to weld it. If I don't, I have to cut it again and replace it. You know, if it's not in there far enough. Step back there a little bit. So that's the way it's supposed to be to fit that door. Come here and take a look. We got a flat spot here, and then we got a little spot that kicks out right there. That flat spot there and a little spot that kicks out. That little place there, it's in there a little bit. That's where that kicks out.
make it tight and right. That's make it tight and right. Trusty coat hanger go. We'll do with that. Unless I can find it. Ha ha! Don't leave home without it. Coat hanger. What do you think, Nate? Leave it like that. It's not how you weld it, weld it up, it's how you grind it off, basically. <laughs> to me. There's always usually cut marks where you cut, you have to weld them back up. Now, let's take a break from the welder for a second, try to make that look like something, and then we'll put the last piece in and call it halfway. Up. Get that closed off. We got a little bit of going ahead. I didn't do it any good. I know I need to get that filled in here. We got a piece up here. See what we can do. See what we can do. I think. If I chop that off right there. Sucker in. 
I'm on a pair of pliers. Hold that. See what it looks like. I smell something. Very clean. Put that right in there like that. What's going to happen there is, is I'm going to stick that in there and probably a lot of it will just be built up with weld. Like, Now there's quite a quite a little mouse hole there in the corner. What would you do if you were doing it? Tell me what you would do. I if you mouse hole, I'd put some traps by it. How <laughs> would you? <laughs> Nathan said he would trap me. Well, if you got a hose, if you got a hole in there like that, are you gonna try to hold a little tiny piece of metal in there, are you? I'm not sure, but this is what I do. It's gonna tack this on here better. Get that tacked on nice. Hang on there. Hard spot to get at, I know. But it is what it is. Get some cool. Big giant hole over here. Well, to the exhaust pipe first and let it fall down on the thin stuff. Where are we at for time? 51. 51. I'm going to do a little bit of grind in there. Just a little bit of grinding. Give me a couple more minutes. Give me a couple more minutes. Thank <laughs> you. 
Grinder is yet? I know. I know, he says. We sort of been running around trying to find. Oh, right there, right there. All right. Yeah. There's that bad boy. Probably was. Yeah, probably was. Um, I'm going to throw in a set of earmuffs because this thing is loud. Couple more minutes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Gonna take more digging. Let's do this.
ba, 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 ba. just to make it look, you know, good, I guess, for to look at it. Looks good inside there. I guess it's what I can manage within the time. So now we've got a piece on top of the door. It comes up. You've got a little corner going on there, so it's, it's not bad. It should probably maybe need a little more depth, thickness on this side. I might have to take the, the weld and just go put a daub all the way around it and give a little thickness on the edge because it hasn't got it right now. I can dig at that a little bit more to make that better. You can see how we got this weld and filled in here. You can see the back of the doors weld it and filled inside there. Both has to be done on the same on both sides. That's how the door fits on the top now. I do not feel like I have to scrub it any further. I might scrub it a little bit more to get a little bit more weld off. And basically that's where it's at. Um, I can keep grinding it and keep grinding it so it looks you can't tell it's been done. Uh, but what's going to happen is it's going to get so thin that it's not going, to, not going to be worth it anymore, and then it will be over. So there's an hour's worth of our time just putting that one little piece in, welding it, grinding it, getting the other little piece welded in, grinding and fit it and start going to the die grinder. But you can see how it can eat up your time. You can see how it can eat up your time. So basically I'm going to take from what I did on this side and take it to the other side and do the exact same thing. I enjoyed that I stopped it here, and the reason being is my window can go up against this, and then I have to just have to build this side. My, my, my window can go up in there. I can put a little channel in there, but I'll put my, let my window go push in there. And then we'll put some kind of garnish molding on there to hold that window in there. I still got the other side to do. Everything's going great. The brakes look fantastic. Like, I mean, let's face it, um, we're going to have to get a little book and write everything down, what was going on in the brakes, and the reason being is He's managed to use stuff that you can buy now to make the brakes work on this Hudson. And um, it's, it's out there. If you watch the videos, he's told you exactly what you buy to, to, to fix the brakes. Um, do you want to go to the other side and check out the building? Nope. Not sure if you'll have one on the second channel tonight or not. Not sure. But thanks a lot for coming back. We really appreciate it. And, and now you know why I said I'll do that piece. It took me an hour, so we had to get that welded up, ground off. Get another piece in there, get that filled off. But uh, that's what has to be done on the other side, and there's so much more. Come back tomorrow, and we'll be here, won't we, Nate? We'll be here. If there's anybody in the local maritime for the used breakways that you're willing to get rid of or sell it, I'm looking into a used breakway, so I can clean up some stuff. Nathan's looking for a used... If, it's, if you got one that's brand new, he'll take that one too. <laughs> yeah. But if you got a, a brake lathe, he'd be interested because this sort of stuff, he'd run up the mountain, he'd clean it, clean it up, straighten it out a little bit, and then put it back on, and everything would be magnificent. Everything down there is going excellent, as far as I'm concerned, considering there's nobody sells 36 Hudson Terraplane parts around here. No. And so everything has been uh, made. Um, and exactly the same thing was going on in this car. You can do the exact same thing I'm doing. Do the exact same thing. Take your time. If you don't like it, cut it back off. Redo it. Winter's coming. Grab yourself a project. Keep your brain busy. And then you're not going to be having no problems. Idle hands is a devil's broth. Keep busy. Keep busy. Keep busy. Have a good day. Come back tomorrow.